overnight, the ship has sailed into Edinburgh in Scotland. Now, this has to be Scotland's jewel in the crown. It is absolutely stunning. And it has an amazing history, which I'm really looking forward to exploring today. Viking have many excursion options for guests in each port. Some are free, some are optional, and some like this one are a privileged access shore excursion. My first visit here takes me a 20 minute drive out of the heart of Edinburgh to a place with fascinating history. This remarkable building is Broomhall House. Now it's home to the Bruce family who have a fascinating history that dates back over 4,000 years. Most notably and more recently in the 12th century, King Robert the Bruce was one who really made an impact. You see, he wrestled the crown back off the British in the Battle of Bannockburn, and I suppose set this family name into folklore and Scottish history forever. Now the house has been opened for the first time in 300 years for a very privileged visit for Viking guests. We get to go inside. Lord Bruce joins us over tea and coffee and shares tales of his family's history over the past thousand years. Charles, thank you so much for bringing us into this beautiful stately home. Can you tell me a little bit about your family ancestry? Well, the family came to Britain in the uh, 11th century. We were Norsemen who had settled in France and we were invited to come to Scotland to bring our more uh, sophisticated administrative techniques, if you like, uh -huh. and were granted land. So we arrived here pretty much in the 12th century and we've been here ever since. And Broomhall has been built since what time? This house was built in 1702, we believe, mm -hmm. but actually it's been rebuilt on two subsequent occasions, in 1766 and then about 1798. Some of the artefacts, the art is spectacular, but, but this particular one really goes back to King Robert, right? This is King Robert's sword, yeah. which was passed to our branch of the family in the 14th century. And it's been passed from father to son, if you like. It's the most important heirloom, I think, through 36 generations. And it's very much a ceremonial sword, right? Yeah, it was a sword of state to represent, if you like, the dignity and sovereignty of the king. All the paintings in this room were actually exhibited in Glasgow in the middle of the 19th century wow. when the family was away. Yeah. So there was always like an inference on sharing what you had with yes. others, particularly uh, fine art, to help you know, educate. I've got to be honest, I'm blown away by this experience. What a privilege. What an introduction to Edinburgh and Scotland. You just have to make sure you do this for yourself. You'll love it.